Hey guys, welcome to another video. In this video, we will be talking about row operations. So row operations are just a way to reduce a matrix to a form that is more easy to work with. And there are three elementary row operations that we use. The first is row addition and subtraction. Basically, this just means that we can add or subtract any combination of another row from another row. The second one is row multiplication, which says that we can multiply any row by a number. And the third row operation is row swapping. This means that we can take any two rows and swap their positions or swap their order. And what these row operations result in is a new matrix that is row equivalent to the previous matrix. And row equivalence, which we write like this, A is row equivalent to B. This just means that all of the rows in B are linear combinations of the rows in A. And it's this reason that allows us to simplify matrices with row operations, which can make solving matrix equations much easier. So in this video, all I'm going to do is demonstrate these three row operations. And in the next videos, we will actually be applying these row operations to simplify matrices and get them into different forms. So let's begin by considering this first row operation, row addition and subtraction. So I can take any row, for example, I can take the third row and I can add a multiple of the first row. So in this case, I'm going to take the third row and I'm going to add just one times the first row. And what I'm left with is a row equivalent matrix where the first two rows are the same because they are not affected by this operation. And the third row is row three plus row one, which so this in this case, it is two plus one, which is three, four plus two, which is six and six plus three, which is nine. Now let's demonstrate row multiplication and let's take this third row again and now let's divide by three or multiply by one third. So when I perform this operation, I get a row equivalent matrix. And again, these first two rows remain the same, but this third row has all of its components divided by three. So three over three is one, six over three is two, and nine over three is three. And now let's demonstrate this last row operation by swapping these two rows. So this gives us another row equivalent matrix where the order of these two rows switch. So I get a four, five, six on the top now, and one, two, three, and another one, two, three. And we can play around with these operations a little more. And I can take this third row again, and I can subtract the second row. And this gives us a row equivalent matrix, four, five, six, one, two, three, and zero, zero, zero. So we can see how these row operations can reduce a matrix into a form that looks more simple. In general, the more zeros that you have, the easier the matrix equations are going to turn out. So in the next video, we will look at strategies that allow us to reduce this matrix in an algorithmic way.